Hey guys, welcome back to Start Something episode number 16. This is something different this time. I just thought I would give you an insight into kind of what I do for a change and my reasoning behind it, how it can help you and yeah, let's just see how it works. So at the moment, I am, I'm literally just pulled in at the gym, um, a way to finish the last session of my current training cycle. I'm going to test out my bench press progression. So um, I've been mainly focusing on my bench at the moment just because I've still got a lower back issue with a flared disc, um, which means I've been doing no squatting other than like goblet squats, body weight squats, anything other than heavy barbell squats. So it's kind of frustrating, but it's uh, needs must. You've got to look for the long term rather than the short term. So, you know, they're out. Um, I kept in deadlifts. Well, I, I, I took them out for a little while and then I took them back in, but I was doing heavy deadlifts, focusing on, you know, keeping in the pattern and just looking at lighter weights, higher reps. Felt great. Um, but then I made a bit of a mistake uh, last week where I decided to go a bit heavier. Um, the session went well, but afterwards, you know, my back kind of flared up again, tightened up again. And uh, yeah, that was a bit of a mistake and it was my own fault because I didn't follow the plan. I went with how I felt that day. I got curious and I did it and uh, it's my own fault. So curiosity can pay off sometimes and in my case it didn't pay off so deadlifts are out now and uh, squatting's out so again I'm at the moment I'm really focusing on just movement work uh, building up some strength in other areas building up some you know uh, opening up the hips and shoulders a bit more possibly looking to to add a little bit of size with my current uh, diet setup and just really looking to progress on my bench press too. So that's me at the gym. Let's see how it goes. As you can see there, um, I actually finished off my bench in session pretty well, but I had to make some sort of, uh, some adjustments uh, when I got two sets in. So my actual programming was 125 for five sets of four, with the last one being a a plus set. So a plus set is performing as many reps as you can possibly do while maintaining perfect or close to perfect technique. Um, so I got two sets in at 125. I felt a little bit too fatigued. I felt like um, I was kind of forcing the last one out. So I just listened to my body. Today wasn't the day to do the 125. So I dropped the weights to 120, uh, finished off really, really well. I felt instantly a lot stronger, a lot more energy, and um, I felt a lot more confident. And then I finished off the set there, as you can see, with a set of six. Even though I really had to fight for it, um, I still got it. It's a plus, it's a win, and it means I can move on to my next cycle next week, um, you know, with a lot of confidence, knowing that I've got something to build on. Um, I've actually got to, I actually had to cut my session short because uh, my son, he's actually visiting me from down in Manchester. I'm taking him to see the Highland Games today. 
He told me not to wear my kilt, but I am going to, and I'm going to embarrass the hell out of him. So, let's go to the Highland Games. You know, so you can see that with my training, you know, I listen to my body a bit more throughout the, throughout the whole session. I made the adjustment halfway through. But think of how many times that somebody actually doesn't do this, you know. They go into the gym, go on full beast mode, disregard it. They're, you know, maybe got, got a tight hamstring, they're fatigued a little bit, and they refuse to go off the, their training, like, program. And instead, they move backwards. They inhibit themselves. They, their efforts are now, have now gone back two or three weeks. So uh, unfortunately for me, I've learned this lesson all too well, especially recently. So I, I'm more in tune with listening to it, especially when it comes to something like a strength test or something more uh, focused based like that bench press session. And as you'll see on the Saturday, uh, when, I took, when I took my son to the Highland Games, I knew we were gonna be having a movie night that night. Um, so I, he wanted to get some pizzas and ice cream. So did I. So, which meant I did like a, a, a mini fast, which is something I like to do. I created a, a nutritional strategy to preempt you know, later on that evening and the rest of the day. So I did a, a fast until about one or two o'clock. Had half a haggis burger, of course at the uh, Highland Games. And then on the evening, you know, I had a pizza, some do uh, dough balls, a couple of beers and some ice cream. I enjoyed my evening with my son and a movie. We watched Independence Day. He was scared. But what, what matters is um, I still allowed for myself to enjoy myself, to enjoy family time, to enjoy my weekend, to have a great training session, move forward in my training session. And, and I was just more mindful on developing a strategy. And on the Sunday, I went for, for a hike on Sunday, and then, then I had some barbecue, tracked some steps using this bad boy, and uh, on Monday, I felt great. So I didn't train as much as I wanted to, but I made adjustments so that I could live guilt-free, I could still reach my goals, and that's what counts. Not, you know, eating out of Tupperware, and uh, stressing whether people are gonna uh, start commenting on your, your gym habits, your dietary habits, your lifestyle habits, placing too much barriers and limitations. What I did is just, I didn't, didn't remove the barriers, but I made them flexible instead. You know, so I made the adjustment so uh, we could enjoy ourselves, I could enjoy myself. Yeah, sure, I maybe felt a bit crap on, you know, Monday morning, um, after some you know, junk food and ice cream and barbecue and stuff. But so what? By the time I got to Tuesday, I felt great. And I feel great today, hence why I've gone out for a walk. I'm making a point of really trying to get 15,000 steps now, uh, which is really, really difficult if you've never tried it before, especially um, when you're used to sitting on your butt all day. So just take, just take into account these things. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below. If you're, if, tell me what you like about this video, tell me what you don't like, how I could make, a, you know, provide more information of value, because the more you let me know, the better videos that I can give back to you.